for Hopper tonight, the first one we're going to be doing is questions uh, 34 and 35. Okay, uh, 34 and 35 are basic questions where what you're going to do is you're going to get a quadratic, you're going to multiply both sides by the denominator squared. So, uh, for example, in the first one, just give me a second, uh, transparent background here. Okay, so. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, this one here, you're going to multiply the both sides by x minus 5 squared. This one here, you're going to multiply both sides by x plus 2 squared. At the end, you're going to get an inequality, which is which is usually a quadratic, either less than 0 or greater than 0. You draw your U-shaped graph, and you figure out if it's less than 0, the answer lies between the two points. If it's greater than, if it's if you want it to be greater than, it lies outside. It depends on what type of graph you get, okay, and what type of uh, what type of graph and what type of uh, is it less than or greater than. You'll figure that out on the point there, right? Now, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna skip forward a bit. This is not good. There we go. Okay, next thing we're doing. Uh, number thirty-seven. All what number 37 wants us to do is show that this here is greater than 2. You're going to do the exact same thing as last time, aren't you? You're going to multiply both sides by 1 minus x squared. Yeah? Exactly the same as the one that came before. Alright, now we're coming on to number... Uh, what we'll do this time is we'll come on to number 38. Now 38 is basically this one less than or equal to a half. What you know is about the denominator on this, this one? It's x squared plus 5. x squared plus 5 is guaranteed to be positive or negative. Because this means you don't need to do anything fancy. You just need to bring the x squared plus 5 up. That's all you have to do, because you're guaranteed it's positive. If it's positive, you don't have to do the, the square trick we showed you earlier. Is that really x squared saying it's guaranteed to be positive? Because anything squared is yeah. plus, and um, 5 is guaranteed to be so plus. The expression itself is not guaranteed. Uh, no, but the denominator is. The denominator is guaranteed to be positive, which means you can cross multiply it without doing anything fancy. Wait, wait, it's over 38 at the bottom. Sorry? At the bottom of 38, you don't, you don't need to... You don't, uh, you, you, don't, you don't multiply both sides by this. So, what you do bring up... The x squared plus 5, because it's guaranteed to be positive. In previous questions where you have x plus 2, for instance, because that's not x squared plus 2, it's, you don't know if it's positive or negative, and that's why you do x plus 2 squared on both sides. Okay. Is the denominator Sorry? Uh, no, you'll just get a quadratic equation. You'll multiply, it'll basically be 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 5 less than a half and the 2 will go up there and th th you'll just cross multiply and you'll get a quadratic equation. Okay, handy enough. Alright, next one. Uh, I did number... What? I did this one here, okay? What you're going to have to do is, you're going to reference number the top and the bottom. Do you, remember what you, do you know what I mean by the reference number? You're going to factorize the top and the bottom. When you factorize the top and the bottom, it will turn into something that looks like this. And what you're going to do is, whatever this answer is, for part 2 it's going to be less than 2. And then you're going to do exactly the same question you did for 34, 35 and 36. You're basically just going to factorise them and two of them will cancel off, guaranteed. Okay, so look, I'll even just indulge you here myself. X plus 1, X plus 3 on top. On the bottom it's going to turn into X plus 1, X plus 1. And you can see the two X plus 1s cancel and your answer is X plus 3 over X plus 1. Right, so that's handy enough. Alright guys, next question down here is... Uh, just scroll down. Okay, uh, we'll give you this number 42. Okay, so what questions do we have thus far? 34, 35, 37, 38, 42. 
30, was it 37, 38, and? 39, 39, 40, 40, 40. I didn't give you 39, did I? Yeah. Uh, 39. Okay, it's more or less. Alright, guys. Uh, shh, I did 41 in class. I'm going to give you 42 now. Find the ranges which satisfy both inequalities. So, what I have to do with both inequalities is I have to figure out, I have to multiply them out, and I have to solve this one. Now this one's going to have two answers, okay? So let's say for instance I had I got an answer like this, okay? Let's say I got an answer like uh, 2 minus 2 is smaller than x, x is smaller than 3. And let's say for the first one I got an answer of x has to be bigger than 1. What, are, what is the only answer that works for both sets? Three. Anything in between 1 and 3. Okay, so do you understand it, right? If the answer to the first equation, okay, I'll let. If the answer to the first equation is x is bigger than one, but the answer to the second equation is minus two is smaller than x is minus three, what this means is because x has to be bigger than one, that eliminates out minus two, minus one, zero, and one, and the only answer that's going to be left is two. X will equal, the only answer you can use is 2 because it has to be a number that's smaller than 3. So you could say the answer would be X is greater than 1 and X is smaller than 3. Somewhere in between the two of them. That's what it means by merging your two sets of answers together. So on questions 42 and 43, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be getting two different sets of answers. I'll give you another example. Okay? If I got this answer here and on another answer I got this one here. What's, if these are two sets of answers for two different equations and I'm asked A intersection B means shh, merge both answers together what would that mean for my overall answer? Is minus 3 allowed anymore? No. Is minus 2? No. Minus 1? Yes. Minus 1? Is 5 allowed anymore? No. Is 4 allowed? No. 3 is allowed because this one is smaller range than that one Okay, and lads, uh, I'll stop it there, okay? So that'll be 43 and 42. So what's our questions again? Yeah, we need 38. 38, oh sorry, 38. Okay, that's our homework for tonight. No problem.